What's going on guys? Welcome to the 25th video um, for our pro game series. I'm just going to hop right into it. We're writing this if statement um, and the question is if we've, we've got so far if the x is basically that lead x so if we've got crossover not in this sense but um, you know if the snake is actually over here we've got that covered so if the snake is crossing the apple like this um, we've got that covered, but if the snake continues on this path going down, we don't have that that covered. So now we want to cover that, and it it has to be an or. So so this line you should already have. I'm going to now append um, an or here, and we're going to keep coding. So it's going to go right off the screen. So I'm going to move over a little bit, and so we've got or. And now the question is if the other side of the snake is is grazing the apple. So this would be or lead underscore x plus, and how do we get the other side? Well, just like we got the other side of the apple, the other side of the snake edge is just lead x plus block size because that's the width of our snake. Let me turn off Skype for y'all. That's the width of our snake. So, or lead x plus block size, um, and then we ask sort of ish the same same grouping of statements here so if lead x plus block size is greater than rand apple x um and then and it has to so it's greater than the the left side of the um the apple so now we're at we're posing the question if the snake is over here crossing over is this part of the snake greater, what we just typed is if it's greater than this point here, so if it's greater than that, and now we're going to ask if it's less than this point here. So if or, or lead x plus block size is greater than rand double x, and it has to be and, both of these conditions must be met, and lead underscore x plus block size, whoops, not a capital S, block size is less than rand apple x plus, I think it was capital A, apple thickness. So the other side of the apple. So if that's the case, we have some sort of x overlappage happening, right? And that's it for our if statement. Um, the let me go back to that just in case somebody wasn't uh, caught up and I will make the font slightly smaller just for anybody who wants to see it uh, we've got most of it so we've got this or this this part was from the previous video and then here we've got or lead X and basically that was all the stuff we just coded now so that and pause it here if you want it because I'm not gonna hang here for long now uh, now that we've finished that the next, that's X crossover. So let me configure it and make it big again so we can all see what I'm typing. And now let's go ahead and run that and we'll just, we'll just have it print um, X crossover here. We'll save and run that. And let me, let's see, I'll put this and this over here. So we'll see some printouts here as the X is, hopefully <laughs> as the X is crossover. So, so basically, we saw there's a bunch of X crossover like this. That's a that's all pasting X crossovers on us, um, which is to be expected because we are having X crossovers. So that's why we now have to do Y crossover, basically the entire the flip side of everything we just wrote. So the Y statement is going to be very very similar to the X statement that we just wrote. So now the question is. Um, if our y's are in between. So we would say uh, if lead underscore y is greater than rand apple y. So if that y is greater than, so like that's basically this exact verbatim just for y. Um, so if that's the case and lead underscore y is less than rand apple y plus apple thickness. Again, verbatim for this line here, we could have copy and paste and just replace the letters. Um, then we've we've definitely got some crossover there, um, but that's not the full thing. We can do the rest of the or statement now. 
just to uh, show you two ways of writing this, I'm going to instead of using or again and going way off the screen, I'll show you with an elif statement just in case I know other people might have different, um, they might like doing it one way or the other, so that's fine. I'll show the other way as well. So if that is the case, we would say uh, print um, y crossover. Actually, we'll say x and y crossover, and then we're going to just comment out this x crossover because that's just going to make a lot of spam. So if this is already the case, then this if statement will run. But this doesn't cover everything, because remember we have uh, this the other side of this or statement that we had for um, x before. So uh, we still need to write that, and we're this time we're going to write it in the elif statement. Uh, but we'll do that in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.